Best to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, where you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been bent from the village and the bridge ever since. Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
Anna, we're coming for you. Ah, Anna, what's wrong? Anna! <sighs> God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her, Sam. Guys! <coughs> don't tell Dad. He's gonna... <coughs> Just don't bother him with this. Are you alright? What happened? It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. back help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us Artyom I am feeling better now really I am so Sam tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when when we see it well first of all there are these huge humanoid robots all plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. I'm being serious. What the hell? Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come. I... We... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... Hi, Artyom. All right. Welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? 
Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what you have to
shit! I surrender! Look, you just, you know, just don't shoot me, brat, don't shoot me! At least he didn't fucking shoot me on the spot. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. Protect the common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack. So there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark.
Just chill, man. We're cool. We're cool.
Fucking dead! Fuck! <laughs> 